So, I was thinking the other night about my thought process in general when my mind is racing, and I noticed that almost everything that I could possibly think about will always revolve back down to sex. It doesn't matter what I'm thinking about. I could be thinking of soda pop. I could be thinking of gum. I could be thinking of guitar. I could be thinking of Bill Clinton. Of course, that's obvious why that would lead back to. And I started thinking about apples maybe a week ago or so. And I was thinking, you know, trees have they germinate each other with pollen, and they're male, and some are female. Like gen genetically, pollen-wise, trees are. And I was thinking, why aren't apples male and female? And I was thinking, you know, apples sometimes taste funny. Sometimes they're soft, sometimes they're hard. And I was like, you know, that I just think that's like the difference between male and female genitalia. And that maybe these golden delicious apples, well, Golden Delicious doesn't sound very manly. It sounds very womanly. And like McIntyre, and that sounds gung ho for the ringer male. But they're different. I mean, you can have soft McIntyre ones, and you can have hard McIntyre ones, male and female apples everywhere. But then I got down to it, and I was thinking, well, if this, that's the case, you're going to have a hard time with Granny Smith apples. You're just going to have to call them something like Tranny Smith apples. I just don't know how to take this with apples being gendered this and gendered that. I mean, you don't know what you're eating anymore. You could be that manly, manly macho man thinking you're going to climb up that apple tree and get an apple, and really you're just eating another man apple. Like a mapple. Well, something to think about. Have a nice day.